<laughs> good morning. Good morning <laughs> wow, this is not a good start to chapel. <laughs> um, apparently, there's bubble gum in the room. That's what was. That's what you guys missed. We don't know where it is, but there's bubble. I gum. just smelled bubble gum. No big deal. <laughs> that's the side effect of pregnancy. She has <laughs> mega nose. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, That's fair. <laughs> um, so, folks, we are here with uh, Ice Cream Coffee Chapel. Ice Cream Coffee. Oh, that reminds me of Silver Lining oh, so love much. Ice cream coffee. Oh. Remember their cowboy coffee or cow cowboy cookie? Yeah, what was it? It's like coffee remember. ice cream with the cookies in it. It's it's about Dang. time to go back to Silver Lining. It's warm again. It's warm enough now. Yeah. We should do that. We've already been there once this week, Noel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like twice. <laughs> uh, anyway, we actually do have some good things to talk about this morning. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's on your mind, but I'll, I'll get us rolling, and we'll see okay, if we get cool. to us, too. But, um, so yesterday, yesterday in one of my Bible reading plans, we're in the book of Matthew. Where, uh, let's see where it actually is. It's like Matthew, Matthew 23. Um, but there's um, people talking to Jesus, and it's, it's Pharisees and Jesus in a conversation. Um, and Jesus is having a conversation with them about how um, we make a big deal about the way that we present ourselves on the outside, um, and actually what we should focus on is what is on the inside of us, because what's on the inside of us is what actually makes us uh, clean, Ooh. presentable to God. Oh, so putting on my makeup did not make me presentable to God this morning. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I, that's what I want to talk about. Um, okay, let's is, talk about it. Is is there value um, in the way that we present ourselves um, versus what's <coughs> actually inside of us? That's a great question. I mean, I guess my initial gut reaction to that is that the value, well, is that I should get myself right on the inside before I work on the outside. That's what feels right to me. Does that make sense? So yeah, like yeah. I want <coughs> excuse me, I want to make sure that my heart is right. Um, before I make sure that I put on the right clothes and put on my makeup so that all of you all don't get scared when you see me. <laughs> right. Except I think that what's more common for us is we know who we want to be. And so we try to, like, fake it till we make it. Oh, so you're talking about less about, like, what I look like and more about, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I, no. putting on a mask sort of idea. Well, not an actual mask. No, but, like, yeah. A facade? A yeah. fake? A fake Pretending I'm somebody I'm not. Okay, yes, that. Oh, man, did I struggle with that in middle school and high school and college <laughs> and part through <laughs> my 20s? <laughs> no, but for real. Like, that I was mean, a real problem for me. I mean, so in, in this text in Matthew, Jesus is specifically talking to um, the religious leaders because they, they put on this big front to look holy um, and to to be prestigious and, and worthwhile. I just sat up really straight. Hopefully I'm still on the camera. Um, <laughs> but um, I, th I think that's, that's something that um, is worthy of us questioning just as Christians in general. Like is, do we do things just because we're supposed to look a certain way um, without actually looking to see what's inside? Yes. Yeah, that's a great question. And I think, um, and I think especially when you think the people around you expect you to be a certain way, you really do it then. It's like, oh, um, I know Mrs. McEvers, and this is what I expect from her. And so, like, if I act in any other sort of way that seems outside of that to you, um, then, oh, my goodness, what will people think? It's sort of like that idea. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I did struggle with this. And, like, it wasn't for me, like, for me until, like, I actually got my heart right now that I'm thinking about it. Until I got right with Jesus, um, and when I say I got right with Jesus, for me that was like really being confident um, in who God is, and then in turn being confident in who God has made me to be. And once I got, finally figured that out <laughs> when I was like 28, 29, 30, um, when I finally figured that out, like, man was I able to be myself. Like, in and I have to tell you, like, how much I can celebrate that because I remember there was a time, it was shortly after I think I kind of sort of, like, really named who I was in Jesus. Um, I was out with um, some students of mine when I was working at the church, and I had a student, her name was Kelsey, I love that girl, and she looked at me, she goes, Jess, you're, like, really weird, and you, like, don't even care. And I was like, 
I do care. No, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> and it realized in that moment for me, like that is a defining moment in my life because I remember in that moment thinking, it's okay. Like the rest of you can think I'm weird and crazy and think whatever you want to think about me, Grovers. Um, but that's okay. Like it didn't bother me anymore that yeah. I could just be who I was. So on, on the flip side of it though, um, in, if I am trying to clean up the things going on in my world and I know that I'm a mess because I know I'm always a mess. Um, like the first thing that I do because I know I'm a mess is I try to clean up what people see because yeah. cause I don't want to be that way. Like I, I don't want to be a mess. So I, on the, at, the same, at the same time as trying to clean up the inside, like I still continue to try to put on my best, my best front, my best face um, to present who I, I wish that I was. Um, and I don't, like there's, according to Matthew 23, um, that's not how we're supposed to live. Um, however, I also think there is a piece that is valuable about like we are continually trying to to move forward and like we're not okay with where we're at. I'm going to keep moving forward. Um, and it just makes me wonder like where where do you draw that line between like I don't want to sit where I am. I think even though I'm still messed up, I'm going to continue to push forward um, versus I'm just going to put on a front. I'm going to put on a face. Um, this is not who I am inside, but I'm, I'm just going to put on this face and be this perfect Christian. So it's like the fake it till you make it sort of idea. Well, yeah. What's, I, I'm wondering, is there a difference? Is there a difference? Are these the same things? Um, is faking it till you make it something? And at the same side, like just not even trying, but just faking it? Are those the same thing? Well, if you're not trying, then... I don't know, like, that just feels pointless to me. <laughs> but I think we do it. Oh, I'm not saying we don't. <laughs> I'm definitely not saying we don't. But it does feel really pointless just to, like, put on this front for everybody, but then not clean up the inside. Yeah. Like, that is really a pointless endeavor because then it's just lit living a fake life. And that doesn't feel good at all. Like, that just doesn't sit well in my soul because it's just not authentic. Oh, light bulb moment. Light bulb moment. Okay, cool. Um, okay. Um, Jesus doesn't, I'm, as I'm thinking through this, this text in Matthew 23, he never says your outside appearance and how you present yourselves should not be um, holy and pleasing to the Lord. He says your focus should be cleaning the inside. Mm -hmm. So um, is it not so much that I, I should not be um, worried at all about what I'm presenting and what I'm putting out into the world, but my focus isn't how people present, how people view me. My focus is making sure that my heart is actually pure and that I am seeking God. And as a result, I, I portray who I actually want to be. So out of like a real authentic space on the inside, it yeah. then I present that authentic space person to the outside. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, that's fair. I mean, yeah, because, I mean, putting on nice clothes and doing <laughs> your hair and your makeup, like, isn't a bad thing at all. Actually, so I'm going to read a little chunk, because that's actually, um, I, as I'm thinking about it, that's exactly what it says. Oh, my phone is frozen. Ah, phones, technology. Do that well. thing where you, like, double click and then click out and then come back in. Um, while you're doing that, like, I, I, um, I just want to say, too, like, I, I want to be really careful that, like, don't, like, just, like, roll out of bed and <laughs> throw your sweats on and, and just think that that's going to make you feel better either, uh, right? Yeah. And I think that's kind of what you're trying to get at because, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so in, in this story, they're giving multiple examples of, of what this looks like. Um, but one that I thought was interesting um, is that if you want to clean a cup or a dish, you clean the inside and while you clean the inside, the outside also becomes clean. And I don't know, maybe this is a bad cleaning practice, but when I wash my <laughs> dishes, I definitely wash the insides, and then I just, like, take a quick little go yes, around the outside. Yes, me too. Because in the process, I mean, quite, quite literally, as I'm washing the inside, the outside gets all watery, and then I just, just need a quick little rinse on the outside, and it looks okay. That's fair. I do that too. I, but it, it, gives, it gives example after example of, of how when we take care of our inside, the end result is that our outside also becomes clean. Just falls into place. So maybe maybe that's just something that we, we should be thinking of. That when we when we are are trying to present who we are, we really need to do a, 
a gut check. I mean, <laughs> I guess this kind of falls into the line of, are we going to actually live out uh, what we believe, or are we going to just be a, a, a hypocrite and put on a face, or even um, believe one thing and do something else? Like, do, do these things actually line up? Maybe, maybe it's not so much a um, what, do we, what do we present to the world, but just do we start with ourselves, and are we taking care of ourselves? Because what we do with ourselves is what comes out of us. Awesome. Hey, I think we should probably wrap up. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say a quick prayer for us, okay. and then we'll bid you adieu. Adieu. <sighs> Jesus, uh, man, is it hard uh, to work on the inside. Um, because working on the inside, man, it's just a lot of work. <laughs> um, but God, I just pray uh, that you would speak to our hearts, speak to our minds right now. And um, tell us about those things in our life that, that you want us to clean up um, so that um, when we present ourselves to the people around us that we're presenting an authentic person, the person that we really are on the inside, um, so that we don't have to fake it and we don't have to just like walk around pretending we're somebody we're not, but that the person that everybody sees is the person that's on the inside of us. Um, Lord, and I just thank you um, that you see us first um, and that you already know who we are and you can see who we're becoming and that you celebrate that. And I just love that about who you are and um, just thank you. Thank you for seeing me for who I am. Thank you for seeing us for who we are. Lord, um, be with us in this time and bless our day. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Later, later, girlers. Later, girls.